The world's longest winter ultra marathon is a daunting prospect for even the toughest and fittest extreme sports enthusiasts. And this year, the Iditarod Challenge took a heavy toll on competitors. But a Brisbane man was one of a handful to complete the Alaskan course by bike. Troy Schakowsky overcame frostbite and a severe stomach bug to finish. And while he's still recovering, he's already thinking about next year. It's bitingly cold, 30 below, and Troy Schakowsky is thinking about surviving another day. Conditions continue to deteriorate. At this point you can see that the uh, trail has pretty much been obliterated by the, uh, by the wind. The Brisbane bike mechanic has 1,600 kilometres of Alaskan backcountry ahead of him. 26 international competitors were taking part in the Iditarod Challenge, only six would finish. In this situation, definitely mental is far more important than physical. Several competitors scratched on day two. It wasn't just the weather, some fell through ice. It's a very, very frightening thing to happen. Um, as soon as you're in the ice, you've got to get out quick and, and try and get your, your clothing uh, dry. Heavy going meant walking the bike or carrying it. This was the winter that I've wanted for many years. But a tummy bug and early stage frostbite could have ended his dream. He had to drain his blisters and run a wick through them for treatment. Your body goes through um, a, a lot of torture in, in those cold temperatures. You don't get a lot of relief from it. Never. Never lonely. Is, uh, always welcome for silence. It's, it's the kind of thing that's very, very hard to find nowadays. There were beautiful days, but long nights too. Just really struggling. In his mind, though, there was never any doubt. You will get there if you keep going. Just don't stop. Just don't stop. Troy Zhikowski has been home three months now, but the Iditarod challenge is never far from his thoughts. He's like a cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> he can't sit still. Experts say that's not uncommon for a growing number of people pursuing extreme sports. The pleasure associated with the activity is described in terms of transcending very traditional kinds of pleasures. Professor Schweitzer studied the motivation behind extreme sports and says most athletes aren't irresponsible risk takers but highly trained individuals wanting a life-changing experience. We've become an increasingly risk-averse society. So there are a group of people who still want all the, the excitement and the experience of engaging in challenges of that magnitude. I feel most relaxed out there in that environment, being totally self-sufficient. Uh, I, I think that's where it starts to turn switches on in my brain that, um, that I like. And then there's the jubilation of finishing. He would walk the way to Nome if he had to. So there was no question about him not finishing. I knew he would always finish. You set out to do something like that, then you've got to see it through. His name is on the list for an even tougher course next year. Leonie Mellor, ABC News, Brisbane.